So whatever happened with Ringworld? I'm working on it. Well, right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally right now. Like, literally the phone call that I got off of was I was having a, a conversation about some notes. Got it. So, so what can you tease people about the status of the project? Well, we, we, it's, you know, we, we are MGM and uh, Amazon are uh, developing it, and I am writing the pilot currently. Um, uh, Alan Taylor is attached to direct, and uh, you know, and, and hopefully that will turn into a actual set of moving pictures. But God knows. Well, the thing that with Amazon is that I know that they've put more emphasis on things that will possibly break out. You know, like with the boys, that completely broke out. Carnival Row, um, they have Lord of the Rings, you know? Um, so can you sort of talk about how they're they're looking for things that will be possible world builders? I have no idea. I mean, I don't, you know, I, honestly, I mean, I, I don't know what Amazon is looking for. I do know that they seem to like these larger objects, right, that have scope and scale. I mean, if you go all the way back to that initial play with Man in the High Castle, that is this one of these sort of, um, you know, it, it's a point of view piece. Uh, and I think that these big comprehensive universes, I think there are very few of them still available. I certainly think known space is one that, you know, for those of us who are Larry Niven fans in our high school days, or in your case, it could be college because I'm 700 years older than you, but. Um, not, not really, but go on. But, um, you know, uh, known space is sort of, you know, Niven's world his universe, dare I say, is so uh, incredibly complex and nuanced. And Ringworld has always been this entry point, um, and everybody has uh, better minds than mine have tried to, uh, to to crack it. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll do it this time.